Hey there, John Hinkle here with ArbitrageProfitSpy.com. Today, I'm very excited to announce the new version of ProfitSpy 1.5. Now, you're going to absolutely love what I have in store for you guys within this upgrade. Thanks to the recent customer feedback poll I emailed to the majority of ProfitSpy users, I've been able to implement the top voted feature which at a whopping 70% majority of vote was implemented into this upgrade. So, without further ado, the feature is the highly sought after eBay previously sold items feature. Now, however, I took this recommendation and improved upon it tremendously, as you'll see here within this video. I've also added a few other features here and there, which I'm gonna showcase here in just a minute. Now, as a side note to all current and future ProfitSpy users, please make sure to vote for new and upcoming ProfitSpy features that are emailed to you as they will be added in future upgrades. I'm here to make the most robust, fully featured product retail arbitrage scraper in today's marketplace, and I can only get there with your feedback and help. So please do me a favor and answer those questions quick 10 second surveys that I send you from time to time regarding uh, future profit spy upgrades. With that, with that being said, let's get started. So you'll notice over here on the right hand side, uh, the delete button is faded out, which means that it cannot be used whenever a scraper is currently running. This is actually a fail safe feature I had created due to many users deleting scrapers while they were currently running thus deactivating the scraper entirely, which would resort in my support staff having to reactivate the scrapers over and over again. So no more mistakes for you guys and no more deactivated scrapers as a result. All right, so let's move forward to the Amazon category products here. So you'll notice here that the display got a lot more colorful than what it used to be. right we've color coded many items here for quick user reference let's start with the new column EBG price which stands for right here eBay gross price now this is the gross price that is currently listed within the eBay sold listing when you click on the product link here okay so EBG price is 599 so it'll be 599 here Listed price is 2067. You click on this. 2067. All right. Now, in earlier versions, you would actually have to click on the eBay link here in order to get the eBay listed price because the eBay price would be the only price that's listed. And this price is actually the net price. This price is the PayPal and eBay final value fees deducted from the EBG price, the gross price, all right? So that should clear up a lot of questions from new and uh, future users. Now I decided to include the EBG price here in blue so you can clearly view the exact eBay price that you'll list within the personal eBay listings in order to receive the profit margin notated. This makes things not only fast and efficient, but very easy to comprehend. No longer where you need to manually click on each eBay link here to view the actual price you should be included within your own personal eBay listings. So again, if you wanted to sell this item here for $6.04 for $6 profit, all you would need to do is quickly copy and paste this, and you have the uh, eBay price clearly listed for you right here instead of um, clicking on this link and having to view the actual listing price as you did in um, previous versions. Let's scroll down here a little ways. All right, now you'll start to notice the tick box right here. Now, this tick box uh, cleverly reveals the item purchase history like so. All right, as recommended by many profits by users, once you click on the purchase history link, you'll be taken directly to the eBay items purchase history. 
like so. Now Profit Spy pulls both price and dates sold, which you can see right here and right here. All of these are collapsible and reveal a lot about the previous um, purchase history of this particular item. Now let's scroll down here to the next item. Mm. Click on this. Now, regarding the color-coded indicators under the profit margin, they are there, set in place to quickly reveal which items scraped match up or are priced lower than the item purchase history, thus revealing a true and accurate profit margin in reference to the same items sold. This is a massively efficient way of ensuring that the data pulled by Profit Spy is extremely accurate, more accurate than anything else in today's marketplace. So again, to reiterate, if this price right here equals or is higher than this price, this will be green, notating that this price, this main price here is accurate or cheaper than the previously sold item. So if you click on this, you view it sold for 12.12 and the price being pulled on the ended listing is 12.08. So that means that's accurate. You could list this for 1208 and it would sell because right here it, it actually sold for a few cents above that main price. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have item purchase history. It actually sold uh, for $4.54, which is more than the main price. So this is saying, giving you a green light that you can actually sell this for this price right here and it would sell according to its previous purchase history. So it's got the green light. If you wanted to, even though this is um, about two months old when it was pulled, uh, actually a month and a half, you could sell it for eleven sixty, dollars and possibly get a $4.50 profit margin. But again, the green is telling you that it's accurate and you can sell it sell this item for this price here to uh, to reap you a profit of three dollars and sixty cents so in other words this price right here the main price is being validated by the purchase history so when you see see green it's been validated and you do want to check the purchase history because again you may be able to sell it for higher and get a better price or get a better profit margin from it. Now let's take a look at a few items that are color coded in red. Now this right here is going to tell you, see that, see the difference in the price here? So this currently ended, it ended, not sold, but it ended at 569. However, it sold for 699. So Profit Spy is telling you that this price has not been validated by its item purchase history here. Okay, so you would want to delete that. However, do not take that red uh, color code right here as gospel. You want to check these as well because look at here. So this one's stating it's got a nine dollar profit margin. All right, but the item history here. It's only, again, about a month and a half old. It's stating that it did actually sell for $32.91 for a $6.46 profit, which is still great. So you would want to list this. So again, just to reiterate, just because you see a red indicator here doesn't mean that you still may be able to get a decent profit from it. 586 this one says it's not matching up the previous layout I'm sold look at that it's only one cent off so if you would have just scroll by all of these and deleted it because it was red you'd be missing out on some items to list so this is one cent lower so you could indeed sell this for 1168 or 1167 and make a profit 
Now, one last thing to notate here. You'll notice that some of these are green and they do not have the tick box right here. That's because this item has actually been sold all right, for that price. So it is indeed accurate. It has been sold. So if we click on this, it's actually been sold for this price. So there was no item history that you needed to compare it to. Um, here's another right here, 322. This one was actually sold, see, for $10. All right, it's actually sold for $10. Look over here, sold for $10. Okay, let's look at another. $6.97 is the profit. It was sold for $7.99. Click on it here. Sold for $7.99. And it also includes the shipping in, in the calculations as well. So again, I'm going to reiterate that one more time. If shipping is there, most of them are free, but if shipping's there, shipping is included within the profit margin. You will never have to calculate anything manually yourself while using ProfitSpy. All right. So these are the upgrades within the 1.5 version of ProfitSpy, which have significantly increased the efficiency, speed, and accuracy of the list of listing high profit products from Amazon to eBay. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. Now get out there and start listing products. This is John Hinkle signing off.